All right, this experiment's called precipitating copper. Here's the stuff that goes in your, in your comp book. And then this is the page from the textbook. There's just one blue question in 20 and 21 that you'll need to answer. So I've got, this is the copper oxide dissolved in hydrochloric acid solution from yesterday. And all that we're gonna do is take a piece of zinc See if I can get it to where we can see it a little bit better. Take a piece of zinc and put it in here. And you can see on the zinc, we're getting a solid forming on there. So we're going to let that, and there's definitely a reaction taking place because you can see there's a gas being produced. We already know what happens when zinc is added to hydrochloric acid. We get hydrogen gas being produced. So if we were to light this gas, we would see that it was hydrogen gas. So we're just going to let this go till all the zinc has dissolved. Set it back in here for now. Okay, so it stopped bubbling. So I'm gonna put this back up here. We're gonna do the same thing we did yesterday. Take the string rod out, since it has hydrochloric acid on it, rinse it off. poured the most of the liquid in a chemical waste container and um, we're going to take the, the stuff that's left at the bottom and we're going to rinse it five times again so we can get rid of all that hydrochloric acid.
Okay, so now we're going to take it and um, put it on here. And you can definitely see that what we have left is copper. So that's all the copper that turned into copper oxide when we heated it.